that for us. Throw up the peace signs for everything. <laughs> your girl Jay and today I'm here with my November favorites for 2019. I originally was not going to film this video because November was not a good time for me so I didn't really think I had any favorites but when I like looked back and like tried to find things that I could talk about I actually have some things so I figured we're gonna film it whatever don't let the haters get to you you know so without further ado let us get started so the first thing I'll talk about is my hair. It is blue, going into purple, going into red, except it was a lot more vibrant when I first got it done at the beginning of November. It's now like December 7th when I'm filming this, so it's been almost a month. I got it done on November 11th, so it's faded a lot, but I actually don't really hate it. I'll insert a picture of when like it was super in your face. I'm getting it redone next week so it will be in your face again, but it's not so bad when it's, you know, faded. Blue is still kind of vibrant. The purple is just washed out completely, but the red is gone 100%. It's kind of like a periwinkle color now, honestly. Kind of like grayish. I mean, I like the purple a lot better because like purple is my favorite color. I like to be loud and obnoxious in your face. So, you know, we're dealing with it, but we're getting it redone soon, so it's fine. But the thing is, my hairdresser, when he did the hair the first time, he had to bleach my hair. So underneath the color is like this weird, like green color. It like kind of looks like the color of spring onions. Wait, it looks, you guys can't see this. I'm turning the camera so you can see this. It looks like this color. And it's just like not a cute look. So I'm like, we gotta get this done so that I don't have ugly spring onion hair. Please. So. But I guess that can lead me into my second favorite of the month. I got a new iPhone. And it leads into it because I'm obsessed with my case. It like matches my hair. If you flip it this way, blue into purple. I love it so much. But anyways, I got the iPhone 8 really love it, enjoying it a lot. I had the iPhone 6 since like grade 10 or something, so the upgrade is nice. It's literally the exact same phone, just a little bit bigger, so I just like it a lot more because the battery actually holds on this thing. My iPhone, it would be plugged in at 100%, you'd unplug it, it'd go down to 50%, and you use it for two minutes and then it'd be dead. So it was very frustrating, but now we don't have that problem because we have a pretty new one. Next, I'll talk about my dog headband. I'm obsessed with it. If you watch my Vlogmas videos, I've been wearing it like every day for going outside because I live in Canada. It's freaking freezing. It's from Old Navy, I believe, but in the state, so you guys should have it. I'm assuming that Old Navy in the States is the same as Canada's Old Navy, so if you live in Canada, you should have it too. But there was like a whole bunch of different options. I just really liked the dog because he had little ears. I was torn between the sloth and the dog, but the sloth, when you put it on, like stretched really weird and you couldn't tell it was a sloth. So you can tell it's a dog because it has little ears and I love it. I guess I'll talk about another clothing item that I picked up on that States trip. I got this super, super sparkly, super pretty gold dress. It has like spaghetti straps. It's the dress that I'm wearing on New Year's. I got my nails done specifically to match it because I'm super extra like that. But I'm really excited. It fits super nicely. They had a blue one that was like the color of Cinderella's dress and I was like obsessed with it but they only had one in stock and it was my size so I was super excited but it had like a tear down the middle so I was just like... <laughs> Like, I was so upset about it, but I still really like the gold. It still looks really good on, not to toot my own horn, but I look hella fly in it. So I'm really excited for New Year's just so I can wear this dress. And then the next thing that I got, my mom got actually, so hey mom, you're my favorite. I love you so much, so very much. But she got me this little, like, cat mug. I don't actually hold anything in it yet. Like, I think you're supposed to put makeup brushes in it, but my bathroom is a mess. I really should clean it and, like, reorganize shit and throw away makeup that I don't use anymore, but that's a lot of effort that I don't have. But I think it is from, like, Winners or Marshalls, whatever that store is, equivalent to Kohl's, I guess it would be for you guys. But I really, really like it. It's super cute. It just sits on my shelf up there. I have not put anything in it yet though, but eventually I'll find something. Who knows when that will be? 
And then I saw Frozen 2 again with my mom, so mom, you are a favorite yet again, but... I definitely did not expect to like it as much as the first movie, but honestly, I think that I liked it like on a pretty even playing field. It's a lot different from the first movie, with more like mature themes, I guess you could say, but I'm older now, so like it makes sense that I would like it more mature. Like, I when did Frozen come out? Like six years ago? That's probably wrong, but it was a while ago. So all the people who watched the first one grew up as well, so it kind of makes sense, but I really like the songs. Olaf was... <laughs> so funny in this one just because he's like more sinister i guess sinister is not the word but like darker it was just a good time so highly recommend if you have not seen frozen 2 yet you should check it out because it's a good good time and then i only have one food item for the month of november which is surprising because i always talk about food on this channel but i didn't really eat that much this month because i was sad so whatever love that for us but me and my mom made these raspberry coconut jam bars and they are the freaking bomb. I'll see if I can find the website that my mom found the recipe for and put them down below. Technically, we did make them on December 1st, but you know what? I'm counting it as November because I want to, so y'all wouldn't have known that if I told you, so shh. But they are delicious. They have pecans in them too, but I guess you could like opt out to not have the pecans if you don't want the pecans, but... It's a good time. Really yummy. And now for my favorite part of the video where I get to lip sync terribly for the songs I've been loving this month. I have two songs that kind of go with <laughs> my mood for November. The first one is In My Head by Ariana Grande. I feel like I've talked about this song before, but it just like perfectly encapsulates how I was feeling. You guys don't know me and Ricardo, my boyfriend, broke up and it's basically talking about how like you had this image of the person in your head and then they turned out to like not be that person which sucks but you know we're fine we're doing great and it's basically like you know you could have been great but you're not so here it is. <laughs> Just like encapsulates my whole relationship so love that for us the second song that I have been listening to is another like you know relationship breakup kind of song but it is called rooting for you by Alessia Cara I heard it like two days after we broke up and I was just like wow literally us so here it is Yeah, I just like it. I like the like little trumpet sounds that are like in between the verses. I don't know, big fan of that song. But yeah, so those were my November favorites for 2019. Hopefully December will be better. Yeah, let me know some of your favorites for this month and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.